Uh, Ezekiel chapter 34, prophecy against the shepherds of Israel. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, prophecy, and say unto them, Thus said the Lord God unto the shepherds, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves, should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Ye eat the fat, and ye clothe you with the wool. Ye kill them that are fed, but ye feed not the flock. The diseased have yet not strengthened, neither have ye healed that which was sick, neither have ye bound up that which was broken, neither have ye brought again that which was driven away, neither have ye sought that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty have ye ruled them. And they were scattered, because there was, is no shepherd. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field, when they were scattered. My sheep wandered through all the mountains, and upon every high hill. Yes, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth, and none did search or seek after them. Therefore, ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, said the Lord God, surely because my flock became a prey, and my flock became meat to every beast of the field, because there was no shepherd, neither did the, my shepherds search for my flock, but the shepherds fed themselves and fed not my flock. Therefore, O ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God, Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flock at their hand, and cause them to cease from feeding the flock. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves any more, for I will deliver my flock from their mouth, that they might, that they may not me be meat for them. The Lord God will seek them out. For thus said the Lord God, Behold, I, even I will both search my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day, and he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep and will deliver them out of my uh, out of all places where they had been scattered in the cloudy cloudy and dark day and i will bring them out from the people and gather them from the countries and will bring them to their own land and feed them upon the mountains of israel by the rivers and in all the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them in a good pasture, and upon the high mountains of Israel shall their fold be. There shall they lie in a good fold, and in a fat pasture shall they feed upon the mountains of Israel. I will feed my flock, and I will cause them to lie down said the Lord God. I will seek that which was lost, and bring again that which was driven away, and will bind up that which was broken, and will strengthen that which was sick. But I will destroy the fat and the strong. I will feed them with judgment. And as for you, O oh, my flock, thus said the Lord God, Behold, I judge between cattle and cattle.
cattle, between the rams and the goats. See the goats. Sima. It a small thing into you to have eaten up the good pasture, but ye must tread down with your feet the residue of your pastures, and to have drunk of the deep waters, but ye must foul the residue with your feet. And as for my flock, they eat that which ye have trodden with your feet, and they drink that which ye have fouled with your feet. Therefore thus said the Lord God, Unto them, behold, I, even I, will judge between the fat cattle and between the lean cattle, because ye have thrust with side and with shoulder, and pushed all the diseased with your horns, till ye have scattered them abroad. Therefore will I save the flock, my flock, and my and they shall no more be a prey. And I will judge between cattle and cattle, and I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them, even my servant David. He shall feed them, and he shall be their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David, a prince among them, I, the Lord, have spoken it, the Lord's covenant of peace. And I will make with them a covenant of peace, and will cause the evil beasts to seize out of the land. And they shall dwell safely in the wilderness, and sleep in the woods. And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing. And I will cause the shower to come down in his season. There shall be showers of blessing, and the tree of the field shall yield their fruit, her fruit, and the earth shall yield her increase. And they shall be safe in their land, and shall know that I am the Lord. When I have broken the bands of their yoke, and delivered them out of the hand of those that serve it themselves of them. And they shall be, and they shall no more be a prey to the heathen. Neither shall the beasts of the land devour them, but they shall dwell safely, and none shall make them afraid. And I will raise up for them a plant of renown, and they shall be no more consumed with hunger in the land, neither bear the shame of the heathen any more. Thus shall they know that I, the Lord their God, am with them, and that they, even the <coughs> house of Israel, are my people, said the Lord God. And ye may flock. The flock of my pasture are men, and I am your God, said the Lord God. Chapter 35 Prophecy Against Mount Seir Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am thee against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay the cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate. <coughs> and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, and said the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sight, though has not hated blood, 
even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men in thy hills, and in thy valleys, and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy cities shall not return. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, because those, those have said, These two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, whereas the Lord was there. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord God, I will even do according to thy anger, and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of my, thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, and that I have heard all the blas thy blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. Thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me, and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Thus said the Lord God, When the whole earth rejoices, I will make thee desolate. And though this rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idom, even all of it. And they shall know that I am the Lord. Chapter 36 Prophecy to the Mountains of Israel Also, those son of man prophesy unto the mountains of Israel, and say, Ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God, Because the enemy has said against you, Aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Therefore prophesy and say, Thus said the Lord God, because they have made you desolate, and swallowed you up on every side, that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen, and ye are taken up in the lips of talkers, and are in famine of the people. Therefore ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord God. Thus said the Lord God to the mountains, and to the hills, to the rivers, and to the valleys, to the desolate wastes, and to the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey and this erosion to the residue of the heathen that are round about. Therefore thus said the Lord God, Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen, and against all I, I do which have appointed my land into the, their possession with the joy of their heart and with this despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. Prophesy, therefore, concerning the land of Israel and say unto the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers, to the valleys, thus said the Lord God, Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury, because ye have borne the shame of the heathen. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, I have lifted up my hand, surely the heathen that are about you, they shall bear their shame. But ye, O mountains of Israel, ye shall shoot forth their branches, and ye yield your fruit to my people of Israel, for they are at hand to come. Before, for before I am for you, 
and I will turn unto you, and ye shall be tilled and sown. And I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel, even all of it, and the cities shall be inhabited, and the wastes shall be built. And I will multiply upon you men and beasts, and they shall increase and bring fruit. And I will settle you after your old estates, and will do better unto you that at your beginnings, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Yes, I will cause men to walk upon you, even my people Israel, and they shall possess thee, and thou shalt be their inheritance, and thou shalt no more henceforth grieve them of men. Thus said the Lord God, because they say unto you, Thou land devourest up men, and had bereaved thy nations, therefore thou shalt devour men no more. Neither bereave thy nations any more, said the Lord God. Neither will I cause men to hear in thee the shame of the heathen any more. Neither shall thou bear the reproach of the people any more. Neither shalt thou cause thy nations to fall any more, said the Lord God. The Lord's concern for his holy name. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own way and by their doings. Their way was before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman. Therefore I will pour out or I wherefore I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathen and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings. I judged them. And when they entered into the Eden, whither they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said to them, These are the people of the Lord, and are gone forth out of his land. But I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whither they went. I will put my spirit within you. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus said the Lord God, I do not, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake which have profaned among the heathen, whither ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of, the storm, of, in the midst of them. And the heathen shall now know that I am the Lord, said the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes. And ye shall keep my judgments, and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave 
to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. I will also save you from all your uncleanliness, and I will call for the corn, and will increase it, and lay no famine upon you. And I will multiply the fruit of the tree, and the tr increase of the field, and ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Then shall ye remember your own evil ways, and your doing that were not good, and shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for thy iniquities and for your abominations, and not, not for your sakes do I this, said the Lord God. Be it known unto you, be ashamed and confounded for your own ways. O house of Israel, thus said the Lord God, in that day that I shall have cleansed you from all your iniquities, I will also cause you to dwell in the cities, and the wastes shall be built, and the desolate land shall be tilled, whereas it lay desolate in the sight of all that passed by. And they shall say, This land that was desolate is become like the Garden of Eden, and the waste and desolate and ruined cities are become fenced and are inhabited. Then the heathen that are left round about you shall know that I the Lord built the ruined places and plant that was desolate. I the Lord have spoken it and I will do it. Thus said the Lord God, I will yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel to do it. For them, I will increase them with men like a flock. As the holy flock has a flock of Jerusalem in their solemn feasts, so shall the waste cities be filled with flocks of men, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Chapter 37 The Valley of Dry Bones and the hand of the Lord was upon me, and I carried and it carried me out of the out in the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O oh, Lord God, thou knowest. And again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. And thus said the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin put breath into you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord, I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone, and when, and when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy some man, and say to the wind, Thus said the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the slain, that they might may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came unto me, and they lived. 
and stood up upon their feet, exceeding an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried, and our hope we it, hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. When I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and I shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land, then shall ye know that I am, I the Lord have spoken it, and perform it, said the Lord. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick, and write upon it, for Judah and for the children of Israel his companions. Then take another stick and write upon it. For Joseph the stick of Ephraim and for all the house of Israel his companions. And join them one to another unto one stick and they shall become one in thy hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not show us when what thou meanest by thee? Say unto them, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel his fellows, and will put them with the him even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in my hand. And the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thy hand, and shall be in thine hand before their eyes. And say unto them, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, where, whether they be gone and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be king to them all. And they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with the detestable things, nor with any of their transgression. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places, wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people, and I will be their God. And David my servant shall be king over them, and they shall have one shepherd, they shall also walk in my judgments, and observe my statues and do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given into the Jacob to Jacob my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt and they shall dwell therein, even they and their children and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will place them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yes, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know 
that I am, that I the Lord do sanctify Israel, with my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore.
thousand lines about your faithfulness, O oh Lord. And I must have seen a thousand signs that you were good for every word. I have no other hope upon which I can stand. Without you, I confess, Lord, I have no backup plan. Lord, you've always come.